My name is Dawn Carr, and I'm a psychic medium. People often ask me what my life is like. Well, it's never a dull moment, that's for sure. I've been seeing people in spirit since I was a kid, and I always seem to be in the right place at the right time. That's the power of intuition. We all have it. You have it, too. So welcome, my friends, to Psychic Stew. All you got to do is give me your first name, your date of birth, and where you're calling from, the city or town, just because it helps me kind of zoom into your energy. I have a question, and I'm trying to decide which way to go. You know, the standard crap, you know, excuse me, uh, the standard stuff. Uh, <laughs> Sir, Gloria, uh, give, me, give me your date of birth. I already know where you are and stuff. Give me your date of birth one more time, kiddo. August 28th, and 1960. 56. I'm Virgo, okay. Sag Rising, Gemini Moon. Ooh, see, I like it when people know their stats. <laughs> okay, well, what do you want to know today? Just uh, shout it out and we'll uh, pull down the answer. Uh, career. I haven't worked in nine years looking for a job, sort of, kind of, on and off. Yeah, but I get that you're stubborn with that because you're you're really selective or something. They, what they're telling me, I don't know, is this your mom or this woman in the spirit? She's maternal to you. She says, um, uh, you pick and choose, and sometimes opportunities there, but you turn your back because it's not quite the right time or not quite what you want. And then sometimes you go full force, but you really don't see anything available. And it's almost it's almost like, um, see, I do this too sometimes, and uh, a lot of people, I don't, hey, do you have your um, uh, Pisces and Saturn, Saturn and Pisces? Because uh, a lot of people with that are self-sabotaging, and I know I do that too. It helps my in- intuition, but it also, it makes me uh, sabotage myself at times when opportunity is there. And that's kind of what they're saying with you. Um, so what I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to let you ask me the rest of that question in a second because i, I got to spew it out while they're putting it in my head. Um, I get that if you if you really, really, really wanted to put yourself out there over the next four months, Mercury's going direct today. Mars started going direct um, it, uh, the middle of May. All the energy, there's so many planets. Jupiter was in, uh, retrograde. There's so many planets that were retrograde. It just feels like the whole year has been on uh, backwards motion. But um, things are going forward now and over the course of the next four months um, you can ride that wave if you wanted to start out and I get that you could start out part time or even like part time one day or two days a week and just slowly ease your way into it because I kind of get you're a little bit rusty but that doesn't mean they're telling me your social skills don't just because you're out of the job market doesn't mean your social skills and your your, your work skills go away so um, uh, the woman is telling me to tell you if you want to ride the wave um, put it into motion over the next three weeks and and for four months uh, going into it um, you'll have positive energy behind it it'll be the d- difference between if you're surfing about catching a good wave and staying on the wave and riding it or having to struggle and ride against it that's the difference okay the energy is on your side but you gotta you gotta kind of figure it out over the next three weeks um, what okay. else did, what was the rest of that question or what else did you want to know specifically because we can go further in we can peel back the layers well the thing is I, I'm an accountant by profession I just I've done it for 30 years and I just hate it and and every time I look in the <laughs> well, that's the, that's and you wonder I why you're not working because you're not going to go your 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 soul your spirit your subconscious isn't going to let you tread into something that you absolutely hate I don't, I've run into that in my life as well I mean there was there was a point in time where um, it seemed like nobody would hire me for anything and 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 the reason why is because I, I really didn't care to work for these places and it wasn't what my life purpose was so what what Okay, so you want do you, should we tune into another aspect like what you should do or cuz you're very creative. I get there's so much creative energy and sometimes it comes in in bits and spurts and when it does come on strong if you don't have an outlet for it, it's just like, uh, you know, slumping around, kind of depressed because uh you can't release that creative energy. So tell me my friend, what is it that you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> Um, I love the travel industry, so I volunteer at the airport. Um, I thought I might want to do something there, but um, I've applied for like eight different positions in the last two years, but I haven't heard anything. Do, do you so, have to do you have to be certified or anything to um, to be a travel agent? Do you have to have any kind of coursework behind you? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to turn this a different way, just for a split second, um, okay. because the one, when you're when you first started talking about the travel thing um a man comes through in spirit he feels he's to the side of you which means that it would be an uncle or or a cousin or somebody off to the side um and he's talking about 
starting with the travel blog. I know that's why I kind of said it's kind of offshoot to what you're talking about. It has to do with the travel industry. But for some reason, I get that you can find what you're looking through through either writing a travel blog or going into f- the looking, researching people's travel blogs, because I feel like. But see, now I get that it's more you. It's you, you presenting the work out there. So I don't know what you do with writing or if you enjoy writing or, or, or being creative in that aspect. But they're saying that a travel blog is something that you got to put in your head because I see you doing that. I, if, I, if I open the window now, close the window in like two, two and a half years, even three years tops, I see you writing about travel online. It's, it's like a blog. And it, it feels like, okay, let's peel back the layers. Let's see if you write this independently or if you write it for somebody else. See, what I get is I get you're either going to be a freelance travel agent or you're going to be an independent contractor of some kind for a travel agency and you're going to promote yourself and your business through writing about it online through a travel blog, an online blog. And I get I get like big thumbs up on the travel blog. Um, so that's what I see you doing. But they say you got to kind of, well, they're saying don't, and I'm sure you're not afraid of this. Don't be afraid to start bare beginning entry level. Um, but it's more or less kind of making your mind up. And because and, once you make up your mind that the universe goes, OK, we know what she's focused on because she's thinking about it over and over and over again. The same thing she's made up her mind as opposed to being indecisive. Your mind is all over the place. The universe goes, OK, we don't know where to put this energy. Make up your damn mind. <laughs> so so right, right now, it's like if you if you over the next three weeks, if that's truly what you want to do, you have the energy of the universe behind you. All the planets are starting. I mean, Mercury, it's been ugh, Mercury's been retrograde for the past three weeks, goes for forward today forward motion takes a little time to gain some speed but i'm telling you the energy is on your side the people have been feeling it kind of stuck the past few weeks and and blah 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 and then the weather fluctuates and it just makes people crabby and they they want to get out and away but um if you want to start something now t- now is the time um as far as um going into that field but you have to make up your mind so the energy can uh, go your way what um, okay what else can we do about this yes I, I do try to meditate several times a week, so I will make up my mind and focus. And <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I get the energies there. There's a woman. I don't know who this woman is. I don't, it, it, I don't know if she's in spirit or in real life. She's connected to somebody in real life. She's off to the side like a sister. So it would be like a sister or a sister-in-law to you or a sister or a sister-in-law to you to one of your parents. Um, mm, she feels like she's more on your level. But um, she's saying... Uh, She's saying don't be afraid to ask questions, too. Um, and don't be afraid to pick up the phone and make calls, even if you're pretending to be something else or somebody else to get information about a company or their hiring practices or whatever. You know what I mean? You kind of got to be a sleuth these days because there's so much competition. But, um, uh, I, see, there's so many people in spirit helping you out. So I got to say, and, and there's a guy that comes through. Um, he's a father figure to you. He shares the same name as someone else in the family. That's what he shows me. Um, but he says hello, too. He's sending you vibes. He's sending. He's saying what I said before. It's never too late that I've said this before on the air um, to start something new. So it's never too late, my friend. Ride the wave. It's going your way. Hop on your okay. board. Wax it up. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, kiddo. Just, uh, you know, look at yourself in the mirror. Think about things. The woman in spirit, the mother figure, she says, um, think about things that you think about changing, like you always wish or you always wanted to. And it's like, change it. Take a chance. I get that it's good. The energy, because Venus is direct now, it's like all the planets are moving direct. So um, as far as beautifying yourself and changing your appearance, the energy is on your side for that as well. Because you don't want to change your appearance or get a new haircut or anything during re- Mercury retrograde because... <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Um, I know. But um, now's the time. If you wanted to kind of spruce yourself up and uh, put yourself out there. And you know what? I don't know if you've tried online dating, and I'm not going to embarrass you or anything on, on the air, but I get that I get that if you went on a couple of different sites that it wouldn't be a bad thing. It wouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, just They're saying just, uh, you know, put your firewall, your personal firewalls up so people, you know, don't uh, have all your personal information. But I get it's not a bad thing. Okay. I've especially especially it. once you're all really shiny and clean. Being at the airport every week, I would, you know, run into somebody or meet somebody, but um, no, you know why? No, because the woman in spirit who's the friend, she says because people are always passing through. They don't think of the airport as a place to to stay or to develop anything with the airport is it's it's like a bus terminal or whatever it's like the tea station you're always just passing through and nobody goes to just really hang out unless you work there or whatever and i mean 
what are the chances that you're going to meet somebody, meet somebody that's like-minded if they're just passing through? We, there's no chance to really start a conversation per se. And not everybody who works at the, the airport is interested in travel or the travel industry. Sometimes it's just a job, you know? That's true, yeah. But I do, I, I mean, I feel like it's like going out into the world and joining a group. Like some people join church groups or choirs or, you know, um, a local organizations, political groups, whatever, astronomy groups. Take whatever interests you and, and get out there and do that. And you've already started doing that with travel and the airport and whatnot. So uh, why not just take it a step further and uh, get get your, it's, it's like they're saying get your own identity because you're at the airport but your identity is the airport but if you put yourself out there in the in the travel industry you would develop your own identity and therefore they're also saying that it kind of has a snowball effect that you would meet more people in your endeavors that way because people would see you as having an identity rather than just the person that they saw at the airport oh okay Thanks, see? Don. It's, 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 it's just taking the, the shovel and building the mountain uh, dirt by dirt you know <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I appreciate your call, Gloria. It's always a pleasure. And uh, maybe the next time I'm uh, down in New Mexico visiting my parents, uh, I'll take a drive and we can do a road trip. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. It's been a few years, and I, I, I adore you, Don. Oh, back at you, kiddo. And uh, enjoy your day. And ride the wave, my friend. Ride the wave. I will. Okay. Take care. Thanks for calling. Bye. Bye-bye. See, isn't that fun? I love stuff like that.